Hi everyone, my name is Jessica Franco and I am the Teen and Workforce Development Librarian at the Groton Public Library. In this video series, we'll be talking about best practices for making your resume. In today's video, we'll be talking about the setup of your document and the header on your resume. First, select a word processor to type your resume on. Depending on your device, you may have access to Microsoft Word, WordPad, or Pages. For these videos, I'll be using Google Drive and Docs, which is available for free with your Gmail or Google account. Once you have a blank document open, save it as your full name, the word resume, and the year. This will allow you to save as you work, keep track of changes through the years, and make your file distinct and thus easier to find on an employer's computer. Now that we are set up, let's start with the header. The top of your resume should include your name and contact information. Make your name a little larger with the contact information listed below. At minimum, you should include your phone number and email address. These are the primary ways employers contact job candidates. You can also include your address. Including your address can help show that you are local, meaning you may be more familiar with the community. However, if you are planning to relocate, consider removing the address to prevent confusion. If you have a professional online presence, consider adding a link to your online portfolio or LinkedIn page. This is a great way to share examples of your work and professionalism before the interview. Now that you have completed your header, tune into our next video to learn about the work experience section of your resume. Are you interested in a free resume review? please contact the library at 860-441-6750 or reference at groton-ct.gov.